Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Dr. Voking Show. I'm your host, Mike. It's always a pleasure for me to tell you about these new discoveries happening in the inner space world and the outer space world. Today we're going to continue on with the evolutionary hypothesis not seen, part two. A recent discovery was made in the inner space world, a microbe known as a coanoflagellate, which was picked because it's at the bottom end of the food chain and was very easy to reproduce in the laboratory. What they found was pretty amazing, if not astounding. It has 128 tyrosine kinase genes, about 38 more of these genes than humans. This is a highly advanced network. It's more advanced than animals that have billions of cells. So what is the significance of that discovery? Well, it, it's astounding because it has a lot more complexity than the evolutionary model suggests. Again, evolutionary hypothesis not seen. The more we study this field, the more we see the complexity, not only the, I should say, not only complexity, but the specified complexity in these animals that are at times more advanced than animals that have more cells than them, billions or more. The second part I want to cover is Saturn. Now I know in the previous uh, part one there that I covered one of Saturn's moons and how it was more active than it was supposed to be. In fact it was supposed to have been frozen off long ago but it's one of the more warmer areas in the colder region over there. And Cassini made another discovery and that had to do with, with one of its rings. In particular the F ring. Now anybody knows anything about these rings the F ring is a very thin ring. It's not very thick at all. It of course has been uh, sustaining a lot of uh, collisions. And this was uh, very surprising again to these evolutionists because being that the F ring is so thin, how could they survive this massive bombardment, you know, of this thin ring? You know, if this ring was billions of years old, it would not look the way it does now. So in fact, these evolutionary scientists have downgraded the age of this ring instead of billions of years old, now it's millions of years old. But this couldn't be true either because observation of this ring would, would show much more damage to the ring. You know, if you're taking all this bombardment and, you're, and, and the object is very thin, it's not going to look as good as it is millions of years later if it was that really that old. So the observational data does not match up with the conclusion on why the ring looks in such good shape as it does even though it's enduring such punishment. But I thought that was a pretty interesting discovery by Cassini there. More to come, it's going to try to uh, answer more questions about what it's found. So we shall see. I will report more on this as data comes in. So with that in mind, I'm going to conclude this video for now. Until next time on another edition of the thought-provoking show, I'm your host, Mike. We'll see you later.